I'm a Bible-believing preacher, and I would like to talk to you today about Police Lives Matter. We hear an awful lot about this racist organization, Black Lives Matter. They couldn't get away with saying White Lives Matter or Asian Lives Matter or whatever else. And you hear an awful lot about this. It's this anti-police, anti-law enforcement organization. Um, they come out with all kinds of, of hate, and they're very, very racist, very disgusting organization. But they go after the police, and I have a very big problem with that. Because I do believe that police lives matter. Um, I've met some, some good police officers out there. Uh, there's ones that are corrupt. There's, there's any, uh, corruption's in anything. You don't just un, uh, get rid of a system or whatever else because we found something corrupt in it or whatever. You know, that's foolish. That's folly. Um, but I want to have men out there that are dedicated to preserving peace as much as they can and law and order. Um, and I find it so interesting that people would get upset because this George Floyd guy gets murdered by some corrupt police officers, and it, I do believe that. Um, it was wrong, whatever. But then they forget the fact that the guy was a criminal. George Floyd was a criminal. Somehow that's forgotten. Now he's some kind of a freedom hero, a symbol of, of hero, heroism or something like this. Um, but... When's the last time you heard about protests over police lives that have been lost in the line of duty? Police that have been gunned down needlessly by black men. And black police officers gunned down by black men too, by the way. What about that? It's not there. But let me show you the stand of a Bible believer. Okay? Because a lot of the people that are in this whole thing, the Antifa and all this other stuff, they're a bunch of communists. Just a wicked bunch of, you know... Fools. But let me show you what the Bible has to say. And if you're saved, if you're born again, you better understand that uh, police lives matter. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. These guys have a power. They are a judge out there when they get called to the scene of a crime. They have to judge instantly sometimes in a split second what to do and if they don't judge correctly it can cost them their life we need to be thankful for these men verse 2 Whoso, whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of god and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation you know, i looked at all these black lives matter people and what are they doing they're going out they're burning cities down and i thought you fools you don't even realize what you're doing you're actually prophesying your own future burning the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. Hmm. They don't even realize it. They're falling right into God's, uh, what God's word says about them here. Verse 3, For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Those police officers were called out on the George Floyd thing. They were, they were responding to somebody that was evil. Unfortunately, they were a terror. They came and they murdered the guy. That was wrong. But what about all the police that were called out to criminal activity and they came out and did right and stopped crime from happening? What about those? Where's the honor? Where's the respect? You get to lay in your nice comfy bed at, at home while that police officer responds to that domestic dispute, while that police officer responds to the violence out there. Some guy out in a in town square running around he's high on some drug or whatever ecstasy or you know whatever the drugs are out there nowadays and and he's got a machete and he's trying to hack people or whatever and the police officer has to go out and try to detain the guy without using deadly force what about that when's the last time you thanked a police officer wilt thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same the other day, we were at a gas station and uh, pulled in right beside a state police officer, main state police, you know, and he's at the one pump and I pull in right beside him and uh, my son gets out and he's got a little bib overalls on, little John Deere baseball or little, you know, hat and uh, this one right here, there's his hat, not endorsing, endorsing John Deere, but you get the point, looks like a little farm boy, you know, and, and he walks over and he starts talking to the police officer. And the police officer says, pretty day, isn't it? 
yeah, but it's kind of hot, you know, and he's talking and everything. And this police officer is just grinning, having a, uh, you know, good time talking to my son. What's wrong with that? I guess that was white privilege, according to the racists and Black Lives Matter. Those people are filled with hate. And my son, finally, we, you know, we're done pumping gas, essentially. And he goes to get in the truck and the police officer went and he got an old arm patch, Maine State Police. I don't have it with me right now, but um, gets it and he gives it to my son. He said, here, young man, I want you to have this. My son did something that was good and he had praise of that police officer. Thank you to the officer out there if you're watching. I really appreciate that. It was very touching. And I thanked him. I, I thanked him. Shook his hand. I appreciate it. Verse 4, For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. There's a big slaughter coming in this country, unfortunately. A lot of the police are being told to stand down and it's being you know, done to incite the hatred and whatever that the media is doing and things. And it's going to turn into a very violent situation. Um, that's coming. But the people that are out there that are rioting and looting and doing all these crimes, um, if it gets to a point where they get killed for doing, doing that, excuse me, um, they deserve it. Plain and simple. Um, there is no justification for going against good police officers. And this, these passages here, this, this verse, this, excuse me, these verses here, this passage, um, this is, it's not just saying all police get a free pass, that they're all good men and whatever else. No, this is a challenge to the police. This should be something that, that should, should say to them, hey, you know what, I'm a minister of God. I'm going to be judged by God for this. And I'm supposed to be out here doing good. I'll tell you, it's a special calling to be a police officer. I don't have the patience for it. I couldn't handle um, dealing with certain people. I'd want to rearrange their head or something like that. I mean, the stress and whatever that these guys are under, you yeah. And yet saved people, I've seen professing saved people, and they say, you know, they'll attack the police and they'll, they'll say bad things to the police officers. Um, that's a problem. My wife actually, uh, at one point in time, was a special police officer, and it was in the armed special police officer in the D.C. area. Yes. Yeah. Commissioned by the D.C. Police Department. Commissioned by the D.C. Police Department, is in. She was in two branches of the military as well, trained by the FBI and a bunch of other things, before she got saved. Uh, not for female police officers and things, whatever. But uh, you know, she was doing that stuff before she got saved. So you know, she understands some of what police officers go through and, and the stress of it all and everything else. It's a, it's a tough job. That's a very tough job. Don't take that for granted. And if you're saved, for goodness sake, don't go against them and hate them just because they're a police officer and whatever else and get an attitude towards them. You shouldn't feel that way. Saved people are supposed to be righteous. We're supposed to... to we're, we can't be sinlessly perfect. I get that, but we're supposed to you know, not be messing around and sin and whatever else. You shouldn't fear the police. Verse 5, Wherefore ye must not needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. You know, a uh, having law enforcement out there with rule of law, you know, um, it's a good reminder sometimes. It's a good reminder when you see that police officer and all of a sudden you realize, I don't think I'm actually, you know, paying attention to the speed limit here. I better slow down. Do we really want a world where there would be no police? No. <laughs> That's a bad thing. All of us need restraint. All of us need that thing of saying, whoa, ooh, oops, I didn't uh, do this right or I didn't do that right. Man, I, I better be careful. I get pulled over by a police officer. We all need that. And to say, I want to live without that. I, we, we need to defund the police and all this stuff. I mean, I, I, I prepare sermons a lot of times. We're, we live off grid, you know, and there's times it just, I'll be here and the Lord starts to put things in my mind and I, and I think, hey, I could say this and I could say that, you know, try and make people wake up. And I'll get to the office a couple days later and 
in town, you know, and whatever. And, and I get to the office and I realize, oh, they already went past that point. <sighs> you know, things are really speeding up. Things, the, the violence is coming. And uh, these guys aren't going to lose. All right, because they're going to be joined by American gun owners. I'm talking mostly here in America. Um, they're going to be joined by American gun owners, which are the biggest, largest armed camp, armed army presence in the world. Somewhere between two and three hundred million guns in this country. Did you hear me? I said two and three hundred million guns in just five states here in America. I forget what the five were, but I read this uh, in an article. Just five states had over two million registered hunters. Hunters, not gun owners, gun owners. There are people that are, own guns and they don't hunt. But just five states, you have two million hunters, guys that got hunting licenses. China, their military is the biggest in the world right now and they have two million active duty. And just five states in America, the same amount of armed people. And if you know anything about the military, you know that their weapons aren't always the very top of the line because they have to buy lots of them and so they can't get the very very best but private citizens a lot of times they're buying the very best and then they modify them and make them even better um black lives matter people you don't want what's coming so um if you're a black brother or sister in the lord uh stay as far away from this black lives matter stuff as you can all right uh when you're saved if you're part of the church of the living God, you need to look and, and say, hey, I respect the police. Let's, let's hold these guys to a high standard. And when they do right, when they, when, they, when they praise me for doing good, when I see them out there, walk up to them and shake their hand. Say, thank you. I appreciate what you do. I'm glad I'm not the one out there having to deal with the drug addicts that are coming off of big pharma drugs. Dude, by the way, all the opioids and everything else. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Thank you for stopping the robberies, the murders, all that stuff out there. Thank you for pulling over the guy that's drunk behind the wheel and he's swerving into other lanes going to hurt somebody. Thank you for that. We all need to be thankful for that. Okay? Um, if you're, and if you're seeing some kind of ministry out there, I know Steven Anderson did a thing where he, you know, yelled, yelled at a police officer and whatever, got in a big confrontation with one. And you can just see the, the look on this officer's face, just, why are you saying that? You know, just what are you doing here? And Steven Anderson, you know, gets in, you know, confrontations with border patrol and, and whatever else. And he, and he, he had a, a little video at one point called bad cop, no donut, you know, those aren't the words of a saved man. Um, that's, not a, that's not a man. A saved preacher can look at a, a police officer and say, we have some things in common. I, uh, I have a spiritual sword. You have a physical one. I help uphold the law of the Lord. You uphold the law of the land. A lot of people don't want to be around me because I'll judge their sin. Just like a lot of people don't want to be around a police officer because he judges their sin from a different angle. So um, don't let anybody f fool you into this whole thing, this Black Lives Matter stuff or whatever else. Um, it's wrong. It is a sin. Um, we need to be respectful towards the police. We really do. And if you know, you're out trying to do street preaching or something like that and the police get called, they're not out there as some antichrist agenda or whatever. And I've seen street preachers and they'll just yell and scream at the police, you're violating my rights, blah, 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 blah. The officer got called by people making a complaint. They have to respond to it. They're out there. Be kind. Be considerate. And, and you put them, if when, when the police come, and I've had times where police have come, been called on me and whatever else, and they come out and they are, they're, they're ready to engage. They don't know what they're coming against. They see a guy my size. I'm a big guy. They come up and they're thinking, okay, am I going to be able to take this guy if it gets violent and whatever else? And they'll... One guy, one officer will get here and the other one gets off to my side and they're kind of at that, that ready position of almost, okay, is he going to do something? And all of a sudden they realize I'm speaking to them from a point of respect. A minister of God spiritually to a minister of God physically. And by the end of it, every single time I've done that, by the end I'm shaking their hand and they're smiling 
and they're talking kindly to me and everything else, I've never had a problem. Never. Never. Why? Because this is what I believe. Police lives matter. And if you're going to be antagonistic towards the police and, and you know, scream and yell and whatever else, well, then you deserve whatever they do. Okay? And I'm not justifying if they kill you or something. You know, uh, they need to be held to the standards of Romans 13. Right? They're not to be a terror to good works, but to the evil. Okay? So, that is going to be it. Watch out for this, this anti-police movement. It's not of God.